Alright, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy JP. I'm back with another video. We're going to be reacting to Andrew Tate Destroys Feminist. Man, the top G, he's back. At it. You know he don't hold back. So we're going to see how this one goes. We're going to jump right in there. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you know anytime I post a video. Let me know what type of videos you like for me to react to in the comments. And I got you. I'm going to get them done. But let's waste no time, man. Because you, y'all know how he's coming. You know what I'm saying? He's the most hated out here, but he be... He be speaking a lot of facts, you feel me? One, there has not been in the history of humanity across any culture, any book, any story, any fable, there has never been across the history of humanity any respect put on the name of a promiscuous female ever, mm. ever. You name the biggest conquerors that you can possibly name from history, Genghis Khan, Alexander the Great, all of them. They all had a hundred wives, bunch of children, Big G conquered the world. Normal. That is normal <laughs> evolutionary yeah. biology. That's how men are designed to be. There's never been a single female who's been celebrated for a promiscuity ever in history. It's always been frowned upon and disgusting. So yes. Yo, and I can definitely agree with that. Listen, bro, we live in a different times right now where the darkness is definitely celebrated. Hot girl summer, city girls, you know, uh, finessing dudes for the bread. All that is celebrating. I've really never seen that. Like, I got parents that come from a whole you know, different country and a different upbringing. So it's like growing up here, bro, and now as an adult seeing that, it's really wild, like the times that, we, you know, we in right now where people really celebrating all the thoughtness and the messiness. Are completely and utterly different. Yes, it's different if a woman cheats on a man. And if a man is at a complete top level of his life and ticks every single box, and if he decides to be loyal, which some do, and I can be loyal, and I have been loyal, but there's also times in my life where I think, fuck it, I don't want to be, and get a new girlfriend every single day of the week. I can do that, and I can decide to do that. If a woman decides to do the same, purely because her value is high enough to attract so many males, because she's beautiful, for example, it is completely different. And I'm going to explain to you why it's completely different, so buckle up. It's different. <laughs> up. It's, different. <laughs> it's different. Well, I'll tell you why. Go it on, is impossible Sadie. for a female <laughs> to be promiscuous on a long enough period of time without devaluing herself. Because she is fucking people she shouldn't be fucking. There is no way she is sleeping with endless men. And all of them are either high value men or treating her the way she should be treated. If you find a woman who slept with 50, 100 dudes, she's either fucking dudes which aren't at her level or haven't worked hard enough to try and get the pussy. She was just too drunk to realize he's a loser who plays video games. Or she's fucking a top G who barely texts her back. So either way, she's fucking dudes she shouldn't be fucking or a guy who's at the level who doesn't give her the right amount of attention. A For fact. a woman to find a guy who's truly on a level who truly treats her the way she should be treated, that's once every couple years, if that. You ain't just gonna go out there fucking a new dude every week and say, yeah, he's worth pussy. Yeah, he treats me good enough to get my pussy. Da -da -da. And you know what's funny? about the universe it's actually beautiful about the universe because it's equal and opposite forces when you devalue yourself it's kind of like men can smell it on you mm. they can just look at a bitch and go oh. <laughs> and that's the way it works so you can be very careful as a female and sit and go does this man truly deserve to fuck me and if you think about it the answer 99 percent of the time especially if you're promiscuous is no so when a woman is sleeping around with all these men she's devaluing herself she's devaluing herself and the world knows god knows the universe knows when a man does it he doesn't devalue himself at all that's just the way it works. Can that's I ask you a question? Wait, that's wait, the problem. wait, wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's super bothered. She don't want to hear none of that. You feel me? I feel like when he just talk about all this craziness, you feel me? The shoes fit, and you could just see her whole body language. She's disgusted with everything he, we saying, but but it's a fact though, bro. You can't be mad at it. You know what I'm saying. Don't be mad at him, man. Y'all know who she is, man. She wrote that crazy book about uh. All the athletes and all this craziness. She bothered. You, you just look at her body language, man. You could tell she, she's triggered by everything he said right now. Because the shoes definitely fit. You know it, baby. Okay, so may I ask you a question? What would you say if a woman now is married to two men? Haram. Haram. Why? <laughs> No, I'll tell you why. Let's talk about this. Mm. What is the difference between a man, let's say me, I have four yeah, wives. Yeah, look at her, right? look at her, yeah. What's the difference between a man having four wives and a woman having four men? You can impregnate the four wives at the same time. You can impregnate the four wives at the same time, and we know who the parents are, right? So yes. you, let's say you had four pregnancies, you'd know who the mother is because she's carrying the baby, and you know who the dad is, top G. If you had a woman with four men and she gets pregnant, who's the, who's the parents? What about if... The, no, I'm asking. Okay, Do you know? I ask, what if they're different races? Answer white, the question. Black? You don't Answer know. the question. You don't you know. Do. Now, modern science can come along and maybe fix that for you, but that doesn't mean it's not wrong in, in the eyes of God. The idea of having a family, the idea of a child being born, one of the baselines for a new life to come onto this planet is for at least to understand who the two people who made it are, at least. If you have a woman fucking four dudes, you don't even know who, who, who got her pregnant. So may I just say... Wait, wait, wait. 
<laughs> have you seen the twins that had two different dads? Oh, that's. Oh, yeah, I saw that. May I just say something then? So, if that is the case, yeah, if the one thing that you're meant to have is you at least you know who the two people that put that child on earth are, then that's why promiscuity for men is also a problem because they get women pregnant. Sometimes they don't even know they have children. That's a wrong. That's true. No, it's completely different. It's different because you have to understand I'm talking about. Humans. You look at humans from a societal perspective, but society has changed, right? So let's say two, three hundred years ago. If a woman got pregnant, she needed a man to survive. If that man didn't take care of her during pregnancy, she was going to die. She couldn't work a job. She couldn't hunt, couldn't fish, whatever, right? A woman and I feel like nowadays, that's why they feel like, you know, so empowered when it comes to it. Just for the fact that women are a lot independent nowadays and they feel like oh yeah i don't need a man to do this to do that for me but in all reality you definitely definitely need a man maybe not how it was before and to the point that oh yeah life can't work without him but you definitely need a man for for a lot of things because at the end of the day bro when you're in trouble and you need somebody to protect you you need a man you ain't gonna call another woman to protect you feel me there's a lot of things and where men, you know, come in place for so, yeah, I'll definitely be needed, man. Needed that man for survival. So if if you were to come to me and say I'm pregnant, but you've been fucked by four different dudes, Hell I'm no. like, who says it's mine? Why am I looking after you? None of them want to look after her. She will literally perish. This is why in most of the world today, still today, virginity is so coveted, and throughout all of history, it's been so coveted because that's the only way to ensure paternity. Mm. She's a virgin. I know that's my baby. She ain't a virgin. Prove it's mine. Outside of this modern science bullshit, shaitan, the devil we have here in the West, <laughs> in most of the world today, without virginity or at least a low body count or at least uh, anti-promiscuity, you can't tell that that's your baby. So mm. it's a completely different thing. You're looking at the idea of a, man, a woman sick, being pregnant yeah. and coming to a group of men saying, one of you has to take care of me and put up with me when I'm fat and moody <laughs> and annoying and I need my bills paid. And all the men are going to sit there and go, no, fuck no, prove it's mine. You can't prove it. Bounce. Where it's different. If I get four women pregnant, we know the, we know yeah. the deal. Okay, so let me ask you a question. So obviously back then, Yo, for survival, women sick. needed a man. Otherwise, when they were pregnant, they could die and all of these things, they would perish. In today's society, given evolution, given the fact that as women we can you go still and get... Need men. Yeah, but I'm I'm not saying that. Isn't there a glitch between what is actually happening and the nature of what we have in our bodies? I think that's probably the conflict that we're having right now. Glitching what what? In the sense that women don't feel like they need men in the most physical sense. We, perhaps yeah, like right. naturally. It's very interesting. Women don't feel like they need men in a physical sense because life is soft. But it's mm. but it's but it's bullshit. And it's bullshit because you still need men by proxy, one. And two, the second life gets difficult, you very quickly you very Talk quickly to learn how much you need men. But women will go, I'm an independent, I don't need no man because I have an OnlyFans and men pay my OnlyFans and if anyone comes up to me, I'll call a male police we'll officer. Pay for that. Men. Shut up, you fucking idiot. Of course you do. Mm. You just named your whole life is based on fucking men. The roads you're driving on was paved by a man. The house you're living in was built by a man. The car you're driving was, was designed by a man. Your whole life depends on men. And the second anything bad were to happen to you, the second you were physically threatened or times were to get hard or war were to start or famine or riots, the first thing you do is find a big strong man, shit yourself, and throw the feminism <laughs> out the window. Mm. Feminism goes out the fucking no, window the second no. the snow needs shoveling or there's a fucking broken down car or the tire needs changing. Then all that crap vanishes. It's garbage. And this is the actual the very interesting thing. I'll make a point here, which is going to get me canceled again, but I don't give a <laughs> but, but, but this is the point. Feminism in and of itself can't be defended. Any idea, the point of an idea is that it can be defended by the people who believe in it. This has been the whole point of war since the dawn of time. It doesn't matter if it was the Christians against the Hindus. It doesn't matter if it was the Germans against the French. There were people who had ideas and ideologies, and they were prepared to fight each other to defend their ideology. Feminism is an ideology which cannot be defended by feminists. The only people who could defend feminism are the men who subscribe to the garbage. If, you, if all the feminists were to get in a, in, a, in a line and say, we want feminism, and the conservative men were to get in a line, you would learn very quickly it's bullshit. I had a friend in Afghanistan when Taliban kicked America out. And he told me, the Americans were, tell, were telling the girls they could go to school. So they built all these girls' schools, and they put the Afghanistani defense forces there, and they get funded the Afghanistani defense forces to, to, to protect these schools. You had American satellites, you had night vision goggles, Taliban were afraid to attack. America leaves. Now you have Afghani defense forces. They're basically blind. They don't have satellites anymore. They don't have, don't have uh, night vision, whatever. So now it's a real war. The men are standing next to this girl's school. The Taliban are coming. You're some dude. You're standing there, and you're looking at this girl's school going, I don't really give a fuck if girls go to school. Bounce. And you, just, and you didn't fight. So that's why they all gave up, and Taliban took over so quickly. And when I said this, the girl's like, yeah, they should have fought for us, feminism. Why don't the women fight? 
Can you? Mm. Oh, wait, the women can't defend their own fucking idea. You need men to defend feminism. So that's why the whole thing is stupid. Because so, the second men don't defend it, it, does, it just fails as a fucking ideology. It's garbage. May I tell you something now? So this is the thing. This is when we Yo, assume... Yo, one thing about me, Andrew Tate, man, I know he's, you know, hated because at the end of the day, you know, women don't like to hear the truth. And I feel like sometimes they just get, you know, lost in, in the aggressiveness and the way he's saying stuff. But... He not always right, obviously, but a lot of the points that he be making be, you know, be facts. And you could tell he's some t he's a person that he took a lot of time to, you know what I'm saying, educate himself and and, and the way he looks at life is is a lot different, you know what I'm saying? It's, whether it's the correct way or not, I'm saying it's all about the you know how you live him, but you gotta come ready to when you speaking to him, because you know what I'm saying he's well educated on, on on the topics, this is something that he do every day, talks about all of this, so you can't really come at him with a nonsense. And something that he's definitely good at, like, he might tell you, he gonna tell you something, and then he's gonna give you, like, an example behind it to kind of, like, prove his point. Women perhaps don't have the physical or even mental ability to go to Assume. a war. Assume. Wait, 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 because this is the thing. For example, in Ukraine, a lot of women took up arms. And in fact, I'm Angolan. Wait, wait, I'm Angolan. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm Angolan. And don't lie. Listen, to the people at home. Wait, don't worry. I'll talk about my Never. personal you wanna story. Go to war? You no, fight wait, the front let lines? me tell you. Let me tell you something. This is the thing. I think it's also really <laughs> like silly to assume that, for example, a woman, because she didn't go to school, she'll not be as intelligent as Who a man. Said and therefore, that? naturally, a woman is not intelligent no it doesn't make sense if we're now starting to normalize equality and we want to put everybody in the forefront give a woman a Who's gun normalizing equality well that's what what people are wanting then that, that's people the case. Like who? let me tell you auntie, who wants to normalize let, equality yo, I, like, oh, I jack og right here man i've been watching uh, a couple uh just purely whatever her, the podcast is man og old school she come from the you know a whole different background so it's like she really be coming at at the modern day, you know, woman out here. She's stressed too, look. No, I want, well, as she know equality, I want respect. That's really all I want. stopping you from getting respect? Exactly. No, no, I get respect. I, I, get respect. Get respect. I get respect. So, that's what I want, that's what I like. Respect. What I think is... You don't even know what you want. <laughs> I'll tell you what I want. <laughs> you know what you want. You want I, equality, as a woman, I carry myself differently. Uh, I actually hold the things that I have done in the fights that I fought. I hold it. That's why when you speak to me, I don't move different. I move different to many of the girls. That's why when you talk to me and you argue with me, I, I don't, don't take it. You do sometimes. And I'll tell you something. A lot of women may have the accolades to be somebody but they are uncomfortable to own that and the reason why then i would like to ask you for example um i do need a woman a man for example to you know procreate but other than that i'm quite strong and i would find things that i would find a way to protect myself differently if, with that mentality what would be the man Yo, that if a man attacks you you listen i don't care how strong you think you is you're not stronger than a man so stop it nava denava what would you do if one of these security guards broke into your door what would I do? Call the police. What okay, you, I'll tell you. What would you, you do? What would One, you do? No, seriously, there's she's no guns she's, here. She's a feminist. I'll she's tell you. No, I'm not a she feminist. She was straight as they tell I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a feminist. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit smarter. Okay, Either okay. I'd play These dead. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, they see you're not dead. Uh, it's okay. They, they no, I'd be breathing. like this. And then if not, maybe I would kind of like be very gentle and comply to find a way to get out okay, of it. So if they want to come and kill me, let's make it there's not much that many people but can let's do. Make an important point. You're talking about equality equaling respect. The way you get respect as a woman is by being feminine. There's nothing... Uh, we can be equal and very, very different. I'm not saying that there's not equality, but you've confused equality with the same. You can be equal equity. with completely different things. You can have a bishop and a knight on a chessboard. They're equal in terms of points, but they do different things, right? Mm -hmm. A woman can have equal respect to a man if she is very good at being a woman, and a man gets respect for being very good at being a man. When a woman decides she wants to act like a man or a man wants to act like a woman, that's why it's fucked up. We try to pretend yes. it's all the same. It's not the same. Men and women are good at different things. We have different strengths, different weaknesses. There's nothing wrong with accepting that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm a woman, I'm good at X, he's a man, who's good at Y. Then we work together as a team, we have a beautiful family, we're happy forever. It's only confused where you have women who sit and go, no, because in the name of equality, we can fight and work. There's no fucking women on the front line in Ukraine. That is psyop bullshit. They put some chick there dancing around doing Pokemon dances to try and convince men to go fucking die in a ditch. It's garbage. If you go to the front line of Ukraine right now, you do not see women in their makeup and their manicures. You see fucking men in the freezing cold dying. You know where the women are? Dubai. Chilling. That's where the women are. So mm. to sit and pretend that women are just as capable physically as men is a fucking lie. It's delusion. To send that you're as strong as men is delusion. You are good no at way. other things. You're better than men at a lot of things, but Bash. it's not the physical world.
As many of you know, I was just... Ah, right, y'all, this is the end of the video right here. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments, man. Y'all real opinion, like, don't... Take away the, the, the way he's giving out the message with the aggressive voice and this, that, and the third. Like, just based on the stuff that he's saying, let me know if, if y'all agree or not. You know what I'm saying? Because I know, you know, he get a lot of hate, especially mainly for women because he's kind of like in the same lane as... uh. Uh, Kevin Samuels and all that stuff, but I want y'all, you know, y'all real opinion. Let me know how y'all feel about this whole segment. It's crazy because in this whole clip, I expected, you know, Britney to even say something because she seemed like the most bothered in this whole situation. And she even, she wanted to say something, but I don't know. I feel like she was just triggered by everything that he had to say, you know, in the beginning where, you know, uh, Dots is being you know, praise and all that stuff. But yeah, let me know y'all thoughts. This is the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Uh, turn your post notifications on so you know anytime I post a video. And to the next one, I'm off the.